everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So, we've got a chat, well, we've got a few chat rooms here. Uh, we'll start off with Under the Shimmering Moonlight with Zen. I can't sleep at all. Is it because I slept all day? When I went to the spa yesterday, I slept for so long for once. <laughs> so, I shouldn't get any more sleep now. Man, the moon is so bright. What do you guys think when you look at the moon? In my case... I think of my face that outshines the moonlight. That's what you're expecting, isn't it? I've been flaunting so much. I've got to know when to be humble. Rather than my face, I think of a road along a shoreline when I look at the moon. It was pretty much empty, so I could enjoy my ride. <laughs> Is this because of my old habit? I was thinking about a motorcycle ride, enjoying the brush of the night breeze, but I couldn't find my license anywhere. I'm sure I put it in my wallet. Wait, did I pull it out? Did I pull it out when I was checking for my ID? I don't remember what I did with it. Man, this is beyond bewilderment. But I really shouldn't ride without my license card, should I? I'm going to get a new one once the sun is up. But the thing is, this is where the problem lies. I don't know whether I should use my old photo or take a new one. Of course, my face is still as gorgeous as it can be. Just like a flower flowering anew under the, moon, the morning dew. So maybe... So maybe I should take a new one. I'll look at his card. I mean, he's handsome no matter what he does, so... It doesn't matter. Wait, did they have his birthday and stuff? Date of birth. Aw, oh, we don't get to know when his birthday is, but he was born in the 90s. You're so young and cute. But you were born April 1st? Or were you born in April Fool's Day? Or were you born January 4th? I would have asked which would be better if Mila were here. Though both of them are, of course, beautiful. And that photo... I took that photo when I was super excited about getting my driver's license when I was young. I only have the photo of my license. You're here at this hour? Oh, V! I think I'm seeing you often these days. Yes, we now have a new member. So I should be more active. And that's a great idea. Oh, Hyun. Yes? You were talking about your license card. Yep. Since you shouldn't ride a motorcycle without your license card, so I should keep it with me at all times. I thought you rarely rode it ever since the motorcycle crash. Are you back on track now? Um, I still do, sometimes, but I never really mentioned it in the chat room. Oh, I thought you stopped writing after that. You did? Sorry if I had you concerned. Riding a motorcycle is dangerous. That crash was a huge one, too. I know, I know. But I'm extremely cautious when I'm riding one. But I still think it's best to never ride it in the first place. It's too dangerous. I can't help it. The wind beckons me. I'm joking. Nothing can best a motorcycle ride to let off some steam. I still think that's a dangerous hobby. I don't know how I should put this. But it feels like your whole chest is refreshed. I just can't stay away from that feeling. I know I really shouldn't nag at others' hobbies, but I keep thinking of that crash that you had whenever you talk about that motorcycle, so I want to make you stop if possible, really. Sorry for keeping you concerned, V. I'm trying to stay away from it as much as possible. Yes, please do. You not only saved my life, but my whole existence. God helped you back then. That crush was definitely not good, as a result, but you gained my trust, and I got to meet the others at the RFA. To me, that basically found me a second life. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Actually, it was Rika who wanted to recruit you first, so when you so willingly accepted my offer, I thought that perhaps fate really does exist. Agreed. We really are faded friends. <laughs> By the way, V, there's something that I couldn't ask you back then. Because I was sent to surgery immediately after the crash, 
But there's something that I'd like to know. Yes? When that crash happened, you found the, that location in a flash, as if you were waiting for it to happen. Did you used to live nearby by any chance? Oh, that's, uh... Promise me you won't get mad. Is there a reason that you can't tell me? Um, actually, I've been following you in secret. Because I wanted to take a picture of you on the motorcycle. But then I saw through the viewfinder that your motorcycle crashed. So I called the ambulance straight away. What? Seriously? Yes. Stalker! So that gaze I felt locked on my body was... That's probably my gaze through the viewfinder. No way. I'm a light speed rider. But you managed to catch up? Oh, I'm a pretty good driver. Though I'm nowhere near as good as Lucille. V? Yes? Are you mad? No. I pronounce you as my number one stalker. Should I say thank you? It feels kind of strange, now that I know the story behind the question. It's been bugging me. Maybe I should have told you that it was telepathy at work. No, I prefer a stalker, because that would be equivalent to... An extension of adoration for my beauty. Of desire to capture every moment of my beauty without any second left behind. You're not wrong. When I look at my own face, even I can't help pulling out my camera. <laughs> but you know, you could have told me you needed a model. You could have been brave and just asked it to my face. You used to be wary of me and Rika, remember? Oh, figures. I was practically nameless back then, and I didn't have a lot of fans. And then you two visited me with flowers, saying that you're my fans. To be honest, I was happy, of course. But at the same time, I was a bit nervous. Of course, even I wouldn't feel safe. If a stranger tells me that he's my fan, and then suddenly offers me a chance to model for a photo, Back then, Rika was so thrilled to meet you, she kept telling me how beautiful you'd look if you modeled for my photo. Back then, when I was really nothing, you were a breathtakingly beautiful jewel yet to be polished, and Rika recognized that. She did. I'll model for you if I have the time. I usually don't model, but since you're the photographer... Thanks, but my skills are rather rusty now. So I might not be able to take good pictures like I used to. What are you talking about, V? Are you going through a slump? Well, let's just put it that way. You might want to take a break. That'll help you. Sure. Don't worry about me. I'm truly glad that you were willing to model for me. Don't mention it. By the way, V, when are you going to bed? Oh. Something's been bothering me. So I won't be sleeping until I take care of it. In that case, I have an excellent med for you. What is it? It's a beer. <laughs> You'll be able to sleep in no time if you chug a can after taking a shower. You want me to fall asleep drunk? Yep. I'm a wine person, so... Oh, right. You're also the type like Juman. But if there's no other remedy, um, I'll think about that option. Speaking of beer, I think I want to go grab a can. I'm going to check if there's one in the fridge. It's middle of the night. Are you sure you'll be fine? Yep. You don't gain weight from beer. Since there's no need for any other dish. <laughs> I don't think this term called getting fat with alcohol really applies to you, but... Make sure you don't miss your regular checkups. I think I'm giving you heaps of concerns with motorcycle and with alcohol. It's okay. You're already aware of it. I'll watch myself, too. Thanks, as always. I'll get going now. <laughs> yeah, let's chat again. Once that moon fades away, the sun will rise again. To be honest, my artistic desire was yanking at me to capture that moment. Hyun was racing with the setting sun. But saving his life is worth much more. Just, just to say, yes, you can get fat with beer because of the hops that's in it. It makes your stomach kind of foof, and then eventually you'll, if you drink enough beer and you become an alcoholic and beer is your main drink, you'll eventually get like a beer belly, like a beer gut. It's, it's, it'll make you, it's hard, and it looks like you're pregnant. 
not even joking. That's what happens. Okay, let's do visual novel mode. Do 다리를요? 알겠습니다. 유현씨, 미안해요. 가족 연락처를 찾아야 해서 핸드폰 좀 볼게요. 여보세요? 유현씨 어머님 되시나요? 유현씨, 다리는 좀 어때요? 또 오셨네요. 누가 보면 가족인 줄 알겠어요. 보지 말라고 돌려서 면박 주시는 거 아니죠? 그럴 리가요. 유명한 사진 작가라고 들었는데 안 바빠요? 제 일도 일이지만 현 씨가 걱정돼서요. 저 엄청 건강해서 걱정 안 하셔도 돼요. 다리 못쓸 뻔한 거 제때 수술 받아서 그것만으로도 다행이죠. 의사 선생님 말로는 회복이 순조롭다고 하시긴 했어요. 순조롭기만 한게 아니라 뼈가 말도 안 되는 속도로 붓고 있다고 놀라셨어요. 정말요? <웃음> 제가 좀 빨리 회복되는 체질이라서 특히 뼈는 금방 붙어요. <웃음> 다행이네요. 빨리 좋아지셨으면 해요. 저기 제가 돌려 말하는 걸잘 못해서 단도직입적으로 말할게요. 무슨 목적으로 자꾸 오시는 건지 궁금해요. 저 돈도 없어서 보상해드릴 것도 없어요. 아, 대가를 바라고 한 일은 아니에요. 전 걱정되어서 온 것뿐이고요. 그리고 보호자 없이 현 씨가 혼자 있는 것 같아서 현 씨를 구한 것 그리고 이렇게 찾아오는 것 뭔가 대가를 바라고 하는 게 아니에요. 숨이 비친 상태인데 제가 가진 게 없어서 마음이 불편해요. 간호사들이 그쪽 아니었으면 저 정말 다리 못 쓰게 되었을 거라고 했어요. 어떻게 보답을 해야 할지 건강하게 회복해 주시면 됩니다. 제가 사랑하는 여인이 좋아하는 배우이시니까요. <웃음> 감사하지만 아직 유명하지도 않아서 민망하네요. 아 맞다. 그왜 전에 말씀하신 단체요? 알 뭐지? 그거라도 가입할까요? RFA 그때는 관심 없으시다고 하셨잖아요. <웃음> 무리 안 하셔도 된답니다. 아니 사실 저도 좀 전환이 필요한 것 같아서요. 원래는 주중에는 연습, 주말에는 오토바이 그렇게만 살았거든요. 위험한 취미 대신에 그 자원봉사 같은 것도 하면 좋겠다 싶어서요. 자원봉사보다는 자선 모금 파티를 주최하는 곳이긴 하지만 오토바이보다는 안전하다는 건 보증할 수 있겠네요. 저돈 없는데 주기적으로 기부해야 하는 거 아니죠? 아, 제 설명이 부족했네요. 기부를 하셔도 좋지만 강제는 아니에요. 저희가 바라는 건 유현 씨와 함께 자선 모금을 진행하는 거예요. 현 씨는 RFA에 큰 도움이 될 거라고 생각해요. 뭐 제가 할수 있는 거라면요. 한번 해볼게요. 죽다 살아나니 세상이 좀 달라 보이는 것도 같고 앞으로 좋은 일도 좀 하고 살아야 할것 같고요. 다음번에 퇴원하시면 가입서를 가져오도록 하죠. 그때 마음 바꾸시는 건 아니겠죠? 
제가 주의할 사항이 있으면 지금 알려주세요. 알겠어요. 어, 저 먼저 기밀 유지에 관해서인데요. 어, 리카, 기다리고 있었어? 아니야, 나도 방금 마쳤어. 오늘 상담 받은 건 어땠어? 다행히 저번보단 조금 나아졌대. 아, 잘 됐다. 그래서 오늘부터 약은 조금 줄이기로 했어. 리카, 네가 많이 노력한 결과야. 아 참, 나도 좋은 소식이 있어. 뭔데? 유현 씨, 그러니까 네가 좋아하는 뮤지컬 배우 젠씨 있잖아. 우리 협회에 가입해주기로 했어. 와, 정말? 진짜 잘 됐다. 저번에 한번 거절해서 포기하고 있었는데. 혹시 우리에게 미안해서 부탁을 들어준 거 아니야? She's blushing. 완전히 부정할 수 없지만 본인에게도 좋은 영향을 줄 거라고 생각하는 것 같아. 잘 됐지? 부위의 선행이 좋은 결과로 이어졌구나. 너무 기쁘다. 나도 기뻐. 부위도 그 사람 연기할 때 봤지? 응, 봤지. 그리고 매력적인 이목구비다. 지금 우리 협회에 가장 필요한 사람이야. 떠오르는 스타라는 컨셉. 아직 그렇게 유명하진 않지만 미래를 밝게 생각하는 거지? 응, 당연하지. 그래, 내 눈에도 빛나는 피사체였으니까 분명 대스타가 될 거야. <웃음> 기분 너무 좋다. 이렇게 RFA가 점점 완성되어 가는 거겠지? 더 많은 사람들을 돕고 싶다는 네 뜻이 이루어지려나 봐. 정말 기뻐. 제인 씨, 특히 주민이랑 죽이 잘 맞을 것 같아. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.